On this episode of Mahjong Nash and Such, I'm going to make barbecue chicken sliders. I know this won't be a one bite appetizer or snack, but it'll be tasty and it'll be great for anybody who didn't eat dinner. A lot of times when people come to play, they don't eat dinner and they come hungry and chips and pretzels, M&Ms, cookies, candy, not good. So I think barbecue chicken sliders might be a really nice offering. The ingredients are really easy. Any kind of chicken, chicken breast, chicken thighs, whatever you have in the freezer. So I defrosted some chicken and then I seasoned it really well with some Tony Chachery's seasoning. I did a little salt, pepper, and garlic, and then I baked it for 20 minutes uh, at 375. So they've been cooling and they're ready to shred. I'm gonna shred them and stick them back in the dish, and then I'm gonna pour barbecue sauce over them and bake it again, just to marry all the barbecue flavor into the chicken. I also baked some fresh rolls, and I purposely made them small. You can see they're kind of small here. So I think these would be a great slider roll. So I'm gonna warm those up and we'll cut those in half and then put our sliders together. I think it'll be pretty quick and easy. So I'm gonna get to shredding this chicken. You gotta get your hands dirty on this one. So whenever I shred the chicken, I just kind of break it apart with my hands. And you can kind of see how the chicken is already sort of in um, strips almost. So I just peel it apart with my hands like this. Just kind of pull it apart. And just drop it back into whatever dish you use to make your chicken. So there's the first little bit. So I'm going to get busy shredding. You could use two forks too, but I think it's quicker and easier to just use your hands. So I'm going to get to shredding. I'll speed this up because it's going to take a little while. Okay, so we have the chicken back in the dish and all those juices, I'm just gonna mix them back in there. There's spices in there still, kind of the brown bits that get cooked and left at the bottom, all that is a really good flavor. So just mix all that back in there. And then we're gonna pour on your favorite barbecue sauce. You can make your own, I suppose. We like this stuff, Casey Masterpiece. And I am just gonna eyeball this just to the point where I think it will be a good consistency for sliders. I think I probably put maybe a cup in there. I'm gonna get these tongs out and then I'll just kind of mix it up a little bit. see what it looks like. It smells like barbecue. I think we need more barbecue sauce. I'd say two cups. That definitely looks better to me.
This would work really great in a crock pot too. Okay, I'm gonna put it in a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes and then we will come back and warm up these rolls in the microwave and we'll put the sliders together and have a taste. We're just waiting for the timer now. Just a few more seconds. It smells really good in here. It smells like a barbecue house. Mm-hmm, <laughs> it's gonna be good. And it's so easy. All you have to do is bake the chicken, shred it, pour on some barbecue sauce, get some buns, cut them open, slap on the chicken, enjoy. Pretty easy. You don't have to make your bread from scratch. You can just buy rolls from the store if you want to. I'm learning how to bake bread, so it was a great opportunity to use some fresh bread. And I'm just gonna nuke it. There it is. Ooh. Steamed up my glasses. Can you see that? Oh yeah. That is cooked through for sure. Steaming hot. We're gonna have to let this cool for a little while. Sure smells good. Okay, we're gonna let that cool for a while and then we'll nuke the rolls just to soften them up and then we'll put it all together and have a taste. I think this chicken has rested for long enough. I'm going to microwave these rolls and then we'll plate some of these up and have a taste. Oh, fresh bread. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. I wish you could smell this bread. It smells like a bakery. Mmm. I'm just going to cook those for, I don't know, 30 seconds. Otherwise, they'll get chewy. So we'll go 30 seconds and see what it feels like. I think we need a little longer. Oh man, it smells so good. Yeah, I think we'll have to go a little bit longer. We're gonna go for two more minutes and then we'll see if they're nice and soft. And then we'll cut them in half and scoop on some of this chicken and have a little taste. goodness sake. It smells really good. I'd say that's enough. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. Okay, so I am going to take one of these rolls and cut it in half. Hot. Okay, look at that. And then I'm gonna put them on this 
plate. Okay, here we go. It's going to take a minute or two. Oh, perfect. There's one left over to taste. Oh, I'll use this one for my taste. Okay, now I'm going to put on some of the chicken. Right on top. Let's see here. I'm making a kind of a mess there. I'd say that's probably a quarter cup of chicken on that. Smash this on there. That chicken is still kind of hot, I think. Let me see. Mm, no, not really. Okay, this one will be my little taster. How does that look? Does that look yummy? It's a little spicy. Okay. I think I'll uh, let these, this bread cool for a minute. And I'll just go in for a little bite here on this one. Let's see how it tastes. Okay. This is definitely going to require a napkin and several bites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yum. That was really, really good. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's going to be about nine bites. But it is really, really tasty. Look. Mmm. Mash tea. You're gonna need napkins. But I think this is a great little dish. Sliders, barbecue chicken sliders, but there are so many kind of sliders you can make. You can make little hamburgers. You can make pulled pork. You can make shredded beef. You can make sloppy joes. You can make, I don't know, ham and cheese. The list is endless. I think sliders is a great snack for Mahjong Nosh. Let me know what you think about it. There'll be a recipe below the video. And let's go ahead and plate these other ones up. I'll snack on that along the way. I suppose this might get a little bit, um, you know, gooey, or not gooey, but Maybe the bread would get a little soggy after a while. So you might want to eat these pretty soon after your guests arrive. But I still think they're going to be good. These little rolls are a bit thick. So even if they kind of soak up into the bread, there's enough distance between the bread and the filling there that it's not going to go on the other side unless of course you make a mess of your plate like I did. All right, so I'm going to fill these up real quick. I'll speed this up. Mm. 
I suppose if you put this together on a separate plate, it'd probably be a little neater, but that's okay. Messy's all right, especially when it comes to barbecue, you know? Oops. That's a lot of leftover. Okay. What do you think of those sliders? Does that look good? Mmm. I think that would be a fabulous snack. So, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click the bell so you don't miss out on any opportunities to learn some new recipes for your next Mahjong event. Between now and the next episode of Mahjong Nosh and such, may all your picks be keepers. Mmm. Messy. But tasty.